In early July 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, picked up a faint, fast-moving speck against the background stars. Astronomers called it 3I Atlas. At first, it looked like just another distant comet, but its path refused to close. Its speed, at nearly 58 kilometers per second, was too high for anything bound to our sun. For the third time in history, an object from another star had entered our solar system. Across the world, telescopes turned to follow it. Each new observation revealed a little more. A small, active nucleus, a strange green glow, and chemistry that defied every familiar pattern. The more we studied 3i Atlas, the less it fit. Was it a fragment from a shattered world? A messenger from deep time? Or simply another piece of cosmic debris passing through? Before it vanished behind the sun, 3i Atlas left us a trail of clues and a mystery still unfolding. Within hours of the first detection, astronomers began comparing notes. Coordinates from the Atlas telescope were sent to the Minor Planet Center, where orbital analysts performed their standard checks. What came back was anything but standard. The path wasn't just elongated, it was hyperbolic, open-ended, and mathematically impossible for a body bound to our sun. Even after accounting for every known gravitational influence, the orbit refused to close. That could mean only one thing. 3i Atlas was interstellar. Confirmation came quickly. Observatories in Hawaii, the Canary Islands, and South Africa turned their telescopes to the coordinates. Each recorded the same high-speed streak. Within a day, the data proved consistent. An object racing through the solar system at nearly 58 kilometers per second relative to the sun, fast enough to escape forever. When its motion was traced backward, the trajectory led not to the outer planets, but to the empty space between the stars. No known family of asteroids or comets matched the path. No distant collision or gravitational slingshot could explain it. By July 2nd, the Minor Planet Center issued the designation 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object ever discovered. Only two others had come before. Oumuamua in 2017, a tumbling airless shard that showed no tail, and Borisov in 2019, a true comet that behaved just like those born beside our sun. Now came a third visitor, one that seemed to combine both stories. A comet's brightness, but an alien chemistry. It was older than our solar system, perhaps 3 to 11 billion years in age, a relic from another dawn. The confirmation of 3i Atlas wasn't just another discovery. It was a reminder that space between stars isn't empty. It's a bridge for travelers we barely understand. Even before 3i Atlas was officially announced, its traces were already hidden in the archives. Astronomers reviewing survey data found that the TS spacecraft, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, had unknowingly captured the comet in its wide field images weeks before discovery. Between May and June 2025, TESS recorded a slow, steady brightening of a faint object moving through the outer darkness. There was no sudden outburst or flare, just a smooth rise in brightness that hinted at activity. At nearly four one to two astronomical units from the sun, that gentle increase was impossible to ignore. Comets at such distances are usually frozen and silent. If 3i Atlas was brightening that early, it meant something volatile was already stirring within. For ordinary comets, sunlight first awakens water ice. But out here, the light is too weak for that. Instead, other ices take the lead. Carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide molecules that evaporate at far colder temperatures. These gases can begin to sublimate while a comet is still beyond Jupiter's orbit, launching dust and vapor long before any visible tail appears. That early activity told astronomers two things. First, 3i Atlas carried a reservoir of exotic ices, materials that had remained stable for billions of years in the deep cold between the stars. Second, its chemistry was already unlike anything local, as new measurements arrived, its visual magnitude rose from about 20 to 19.3, roughly five times brighter than early models predicted. No one expected that much energy from so far out. If it could shine like this at four astronomical units, what would happen when it reached two? Or one? The data suggested a body rich in carbon dioxide, shedding gases faster than theory allowed, a comet alive, not dormant, and awake far too early. The realization spread quickly. This visitor was active, unpredictable, and scientifically priceless. 
every major observatory began preparing its instruments. Because 3 i Atlas wasn't drifting quietly through space anymore, it's, it was breathing. By late July, 3 i Atlas had become the most watched object in the solar system. Within weeks, three of humanity's most powerful observatories had already turned their gaze toward it. The first was the Hubble Space Telescope. On July 21, 2025, Hubble tracked the comet as it swept through the inner system at almost 60 kilometers per second. The background stars blurred into streaks, a silent measure of the comet's impossible speed. At the center of the image, astronomers resolved a bright core surrounded by a teardrop-shaped coma. Careful modeling revealed that the nucleus of 3i Atlas was small, between 440 meters and 5.6 kilometers across. Far smaller than the earliest estimates, and smaller still than most comets we know. That finding ruled out the wildest ideas. 3i Atlas was not a massive alien probe, nor a planet-sized shard wandering between stars. It was a compact, volatile, rich nucleus, a natural body that had simply traveled farther than most. But the Hubble data raised new questions. What was driving its brightness? What were those gases made of? And why did its coma appear so uneven, as though light itself was bending differently through it? For answers, scientists turned to a newer eye on the sky, the James Webb Space Telescope. On August 6th, Webb used its NIR spec instrument to split the comet's faint glow into a chemical barcode. The results were surprising. At that distance from the sun, most comets are dominated by water vapor. 3i Atlas wasn't. Its spectrum was ruled by carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, while water made up only a trace. That mix hinted at a birthplace far colder than the region where our own comets formed, a frozen nursery orbiting a distant, dim star. Even stranger was the behavior of its dust. Instead of flowing away from the sun as radiation pressure dictates, a plume of fine grains was being launched toward it. Gas jets rich in carbon dioxide were erupting from the surface with enough force to push dust sunward against the normal flow. A comet defying the usual rules. And then came the Gemini South Observatory in Chile. On August 27th, it caught a clearer glimpse of the coma's structure. And for the first time, a visible tail. Spectroscopy revealed strong cyanide emission lines, proof that sunlight was now breaking apart molecules in the coma. But one expected signal, diatomic carbon, was almost absent. The ratio of C2 to Cn measured below 0.1, placing 3i Atlas among the most carbon-chain depleted comets ever seen. Each telescope had told part of the story. Hubble gave us its size, Webb its chemistry, Gemini its fingerprint. Together, they described a visitor that looked familiar but behaved like nothing we had ever studied. 3i Atlas was a comet, yes, but one that had learned different rules written beneath another star. As 3i Atlas slips behind the sun, it leaves us with more questions than answers. In the span of a few months, a faint dot became a global collaboration. A visitor from another star, studied by every instrument we could turn toward it. It arrived quietly, revealed its secrets through light and chemistry, and now drifts outward again, carrying the dust of another world into darkness. No spacecraft will ever reach it, no probe will touch its surface. It will fade into the black beyond Neptune in one day, beyond the reach of our telescopes. But the data remains. Each photon recorded, each curve and spectrum preserved. From those traces, we piece together a picture of what interstellar matter looks like and how far a fragment of frozen time can travel. There have now been three of these visitors. Oumuamua, silent and strange. Borisov, bright and familiar. And now, 3i Atlas, a bridge between the two, ordinary in shape, alien in substance. Each has shown us that the space between stars is not empty but filled with relics, fragments of distant histories drifting among us. 3i Atlas will not return, but its passing reminds us that discovery is not always about answers. Sometimes it's about perspective, about seeing how vast the universe truly is and how much of it still waits beyond the next horizon. Until next time, stay curious.